Nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Nice to meet you. It's quite the view you have. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's really beautiful nice. Beautiful audience, beautiful theater. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that nice? I like the I like the outfit. You're like Thank a ninja. You. Oh, good. Yeah. I didn't think about that, but now I'll be thinking about it the rest of this interview. You could assassinate me, and I wouldn't even know. Ooh, okay. Let me use this coffee cup for something later. <laughs> you probably could if you were a ninja. Now, this is your this is your first time on 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 late night. Yeah, first time. And you you've got uh, some pretty great first times of things. The first time you had a professional. Theater gig. Is this literally, is, is this actually true? That's him. Okay, let me show you. I am a, a wild fan of this actor. His name is Mark Rylance. And this was your first pro. How do you land your first pro gig with uh, possibly the, the greatest living British actor? Well, he makes you do a 60 minute uh, callback. First is what he makes you do. What do you, literally, it's a 60 minute audition? Yeah, the first one with him and Claire Van Campen, who directed it. What was, was the name a, of the play? It was called Nice Fish. Okay. It was written out of prose poetry by a, a Minnesota prose poet named Lewis Jenkins. So any of those Tony speeches uh, that he gave that were just the prose poetry, it was all of those. And was that here in, in New York? We did it in Boston and New York, and then he very generously took all of us to the West End. Okay, so yeah. you're here in New York, and you uh, you know you're auditioning for Mark Rylance? I do. You, okay, so and what does he have you do? Um, we just played for like 60 minutes. We just improvised together and it was probably the most gratifying audition I've ever had. I mean, he really... Because well, you got the part. If it wasn't, <laughs> if you hadn't got the part, no. it would have sucked. I walked out and I thought, even if I don't get this, it's fine, because that's the best audition I've ever had. And then you, then it went over to London, to the West End. Yeah. So the first play all. you're ever in professionally ends up being in the West End, London. Mm-hmm. A younger me is very angry at you. Oh, God. <laughs> Because I did not have your experience. No, yes. a lot of people have, and I, f I feel kind of, I feel like I've peaked a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a fear. Well, how, how old are you? I'm 25. 25? You haven't peaked. Okay, good. You haven't peaked. You got like a couple of years left. Oh, good. <laughs> are, where are you from? I'm from Florida originally. Okay. Do you, now, here's the thing about Florida. Where in Florida? Because some people from Florida, I'm from the South, mm -hmm. some people from Florida, Feel southern, and some people feel like a transplanted northerner down there. What, or I some mean, people like walk around with no shirts and take bath salts. Which they do. Which um, Florida are you from? It's hard because I'm on the sticks outside of the burbs of Orlando. So lots Kissimmee? of um, not Kissimmee. It's a place called Chiliota, Florida. Chiliota. Oh hey. Yeah. Um, we made sure we had one. We're here just tonight. one yes. person. Yeah. Um, but it's it's near Orlando, and uh, but it was f rural, uh, so I do consider myself very southern. Rural, like farms and. Yeah, we were across the street from a cow pasture, okay. um, and a lot of my family is from Georgia, which is where I went to college, mm -hmm. and they uh, there's a there's a festival that I went to more than one time called Swine Time, <laughs> and it okay. is exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> Um, and there was one thing in particular. They have a greased pig. Mm -hmm. Kids are the people who participate in this. Mm -hmm. I was maybe 10. And my parents told me, if you catch the pig, you can keep it, because that was the prize. <laughs> and you should never bet against me, because I got very, I had fire in my belly. I wanted to get that pig. It's in a big mud pit, right? It's in, like, d dirt. It's, yeah. a, you know, not the, not... Not the cleanest place to be, mm -hmm. but I had, I was ready. I got the greased pig. I had it in my hands, and this ass in overalls tripped me. <laughs> and I swear my parents paid them. You have, uh, you have a new film. It's called Private Life on yeah. Netflix. Um, uh, you play the niece of Paul Giamatti and Catherine Hahn. What, what's the play about? I play their. I, mean, the, I play. The, what's the What's the show about? <laughs> I play their step niece, which is an important detail. Uh, it's about a couple. We meet them in the middle of their life. They're going through uh, the crisis of not being able to have a baby and trying to do in vitro fertilization and going through their whole fertility mm -hmm. saga. And my character is a college dropout. She's 25. Mm -hmm. She goes to stay with her step aunt and uncle in the city. And then she fits into their fertility saga by donating eggs. Oh. Yeah. 
So, very light subject matter. I was about to say, very light subject for, matter. For uh, Paul Giamatti and I, Catherine I, Hahn I can't, I can't ask you the obvious question because it'll give away the ending. Yeah. You, we, I can't, I'm not going to really ask. Really, every single Does it have a happy ending? Does it have a happy ending? It's in a muted world of happy. <laughs> in a... In a, muted, in, a, in, in, a, a mute, in a muted world of happy. <laughs> you'll be provisionally pleased. In the sense that, like... Sure. What our world looks like. What does happy look like? I, uh, I, I've actually gotten to know Giamatti a little bit. Yeah. He's a lovely guy. He was my buddy every day. At Did lunch. you ever go? He, we've, we've traded uh, a lot of science fiction books with each other. Did you have you seen his collection? Uh, we did a rehearsal at his house, mm -hmm. and we walked in, and the first thing I was struck by that on every surface of furniture there were just stacks of historical paperbacks, and I thought he can't possibly have read these all. And then we went into another room, and there were more. Mm -hmm. A hoarder of historical uh, paperbacks and sci-fi as well. He told me that he only acts because there's so much downtime that he can read. <laughs> That's so annoying. I know, because he's good. <laughs> he's really good. Well, Kaylee, it was lovely to it meet you. It was lovely to meet you. The film Private Life is available on Netflix. Kaylee Carter, everybody.